Please duplicate these experiments. After watching these videos, use these types of devices to amplify your electricity, even at low voltages. Okay, plug it in, and let's see what we got here. Uh, power source. Uh huh. Not on. Okay, so let's turn this one on now and power. Green light means go. Okay. Okay, now we're going to set up here. And while we do, I want to explain a few things. One, it does not matter if the DC source comes from this power adapter or a motor. 12 volts is 12 volts. They're both DC. Okay? The only difference that it can make is the amperage okay that's the only difference that we can see that's gonna um you know mess up this experiments but that's not totally what this is about what we're trying to do is just trying to find out what you can do with 12 volts my other experiments i will show you running a 12 volt motor dc and powering the inverter just to see what happens negative or positive we're going to do that but i also want to get into um understanding about motors see this technology on uh, which he showed you is over a hundred years old it's called a synchronized motor or an induction motor okay tesla made it Okay, and he had many different types of um, induction motors. Um, the first one got taken because he was working with Edison, and Edison kept his patents. So he redid them. So there's many types of induction motors. And what that means is it basically runs off of magnetism. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated, but I just wanted you to know that if you take an induction motor and run it to a DC motor the electricity that comes from one motor will pass through the other motor and run it and therefore now you're generating using two motors but one source of electricity now I don't have pictures and diagrams to explain that, but if you understand how the induction motor works, get some pictures. There's plenty of them on the internet. Uh, I'll probably drop in um, a couple pictures right up here in the, probably right there in the upper corner somewhere. But anyway, um, we're almost set up here. Let's remember this. The technology that you're normally seeing on YouTube is always going to be vague. One, people want to make money off their inventions. I don't care if they're Laser Saber or any other people who say they have open source. When they figure out that they can actually make money on this and they have to, then all that open source goes out the window. Okay? That's the reason why we open the library. The library will always be a source in which you can get information for free, patent or not. If we put it on there, it's free. You want to take this video and uh, get more uh, people or viewers on your thing? Do so. Okay? 
If not, we will tell you in the video. Hey, don't copy this. But right now, you know what? Like I said, if money comes into play and I have to uh, change my mind on there, we're going to cross that bridge when it happens. But right now, I'm not making any money. It's time to tell you what's going on with all these projects. Green energy is over a hundred years old. The first green energies that we had came from hydropower. So stop letting these people trick you and do the experiments that all these people are claiming that they're doing and when you find out that you can do these things and guess what this thing with their their saying this perpetual motion even though perpetual motion what it means is that it doesn't take any energy which is is is, is no such thing you have to put some kind of energy into it but it's called indefinite motion indefinite motion means that you can run something for an unclosed amount of time indefinitely so you have to understand the terms in which people are using but um, we're set up we have four things running so now we're going to do a little thing that you've seen already and um, you know this is a little surprise but do you remember this oh yeah you guys do right in the beginning of our video six votes okay and what about that huh okay because this is going to get noisy i'm going to put a little music in the background and let this video finish because right now this experiment is almost at to an end we've proven our points which you can do with 12 volts dc and remember the whole point is why isn't his cap charging if he said that his motor configuration will eventually run down we want to know why he wouldn't tell people how long before it runs down you're putting more energy in than you're getting out by the numbers explain what is actually going on okay listen to that motor
has V over 1. That means it has a fluctuating battery source within it. Okay? And I said, hey, if you plug this in, and you see it's plugged in here, okay? And it says charging. See if we can focus that in there. Come on. Charging right here is a little spot. Let me see. It's over here. Right there. Okay. See if I can bring that in. Charging. Okay. Now, I to prove that you're getting both the charging going in here and using the energy on the phone. You would have to turn it around like that and you would say, look, I'm going to take out the battery. Watch. I'm going to take out the battery and the power goes off. See? The power goes off. That means this cord, see what it's saying? This cord right here runs everything. This battery right here is responsible for giving the charge to it. So let's see if we can get that back. Okay. Then it rings. And it starts to come back up. Okay. So it should have never turned off as long as it's plugged in. But it's going to turn off. Let's see if we can get it back up going. And it's going to tell you about the battery immediately. There you go. So it's starting back up. It's telling you that this right here is charging from the wall. And you're using the power when it comes on at the exact same time. If the battery can only go one way like a water hose. And... How do you get it to go back the other way? So how do you use the power and get the power from the cord? It has a switch in there that goes back and forth. That's it. MOSFETs, was, it's all kind of different uh, um, switches. But read switches, it has a switch in here. And of service. once you understand that, okay... You'll understand how you can have a self-running motor just from this demonstration. Okay. Now, again, if this cord is putting enough energy to run all this stuff, all these applications, see if we can play that. Then when I take this off, it should continue playing. Okay? It should continue playing. But it doesn't. So it's not getting energy from the cord. It's getting energy from this battery. And that battery has to be charged. So how does this thing recharge if I'm using the energy in it? Can't do two things at the same time. If that doesn't explain V over 1 switching back forth that I did when I was 14 years old. Meaning that this is a fluctuating battery source or power source, fluctuating power source, and that you can do two things at one time, okay, which is the Y configuration used in movies sometimes, I suspectly think that they use my, my information, but they've been lying to you about over unity, period. That's, that's just how it is. They, they, they've been lying to you about over unity. So that's what I wanted to say.